Just the name itself can send shivers down a runner's spine. This nagging pain along your shins can really put a damper on your fitness goals. But don't worry, we're here to help you understand and overcome this common runner's woe. Shin splints, medically known as medial tibial stress syndrome or MTSS, are a pain in the literal sense. They manifest as pain and tenderness along the inner edge of your shin bone, the tibia. Imagine a dull ache that intensifies with activity, especially running or jumping. This pain arises from inflammation of the muscles, tendons, and bone tissue surrounding the tibia. Overuse, improper footwear, and biomechanical issues are often the culprits behind this painful condition. But fear not, there are ways to combat this and get you back on track. Let's delve deeper into the world of shin splints and explore how to effectively address and prevent them. Shin splints often rear their ugly heads when we push our bodies too hard too soon. Suddenly, increasing your running intensity or duration can overload your muscles and tendons, leading to inflammation and pain. Think of it like this. Imagine stretching a rubber band repeatedly, eventually it loses its elasticity and might even snap. Similarly, your muscles and tendons can get strained with overuse resulting in shin splints. But here's the catch, not all shin splints are created equal. We can broadly categorize them into two main types, muscular and bone shin splints. Muscular shin splints, as the name suggests, involve inflammation of the muscles that run along the shin bone. Bone shin splints, on the other hand, are more serious and involve inflammation of the bone itself. Let's tackle muscular shin splints first. These are more common and generally easier to manage. The key here is to reduce inflammation and address any muscle imbalances. One of the simplest yet most effective ways to alleviate muscular shin splint pain is foam rolling. Use a foam roller to massage your calf muscles, focusing on any tight or tender spots. This helps release tension and improve blood flow to the area. Another helpful strategy is to incorporate physical therapy exercises. Your physical therapist can guide you through specific stretches and exercises that strengthen the muscles surrounding your shins, improving flexibility and stability. Section 4. Bone trouble, addressing bone shin splints. Now let's address the elephant in the room, bone shin splints. These are a bit more serious and require a different approach. If you suspect you have bone shin splints, it's crucial to consult a doctor or a sports medicine professional. Bone shin splints involve inflammation of the bone itself, often due to stress fractures. These tiny cracks in the bone can worsen if not treated properly. Your doctor may recommend imaging tests like x-rays or bone scans to confirm the diagnosis. Treatment for bone shin splints typically involves rest, ice, compression, and elevation, commonly known as rice. Your doctor may also advise you to avoid high-impact activities and opt for low-impact exercises like swimming or cycling until the bone heals. Section 5. Soothing the Ache. General Tips for Shin Splint Relief. Whether you're dealing with muscular or bone shin splints, there are some general tips that can help alleviate pain and promote healing. Rest is crucial. Give your legs a break from strenuous activities that exacerbate the pain. This doesn't mean you have to be completely sedentary. You can still engage in gentle movements that don't strain your shins. Ice is your best friend when it comes to inflammation. Apply an ice pack to the affected area for 15 to 20 minutes at a time, several times a day. This helps reduce swelling and numb the pain. Gentle stretches can also work wonders. Try calf stretches, toe raises, and ankle circles to improve flexibility and reduce tightness in the muscles surrounding your shins. Section 6. Prevention is key keeping shin splints at bay. As they say, prevention is better than cure. And when it comes to shin splints, this couldn't be truer. By incorporating some preventive measures into your routine, you can significantly reduce your risk of experiencing this painful condition. One of the golden rules of running is the 10% rule. Increase your mileage gradually, by no more than 10% per week. This allows your body to adapt to the increased stress and helps prevent overuse injuries like shin splints. Proper footwear is paramount. Make sure your running shoes provide adequate cushioning and support. Replace your shoes every 300 to 500 miles or sooner if you notice any signs of wear and tear. Strengthening your hips and core is another crucial aspect of shin splint prevention. 
weak hips and core muscles can lead to biomechanical imbalances that put extra stress on your shins. Incorporate exercises like squats, lunges, and planks into your routine to strengthen these areas. Section 7. Stay Strong, Run Free. Your Journey to Pain-Free Running. Shin splints can be a real pain both literally and figuratively. But remember, knowledge is power. By understanding the causes, types, and treatment options for shin splints, you can take control of your recovery and prevent future occurrences. Remember to listen to your body, gradually increase your training intensity, wear proper footwear, and prioritize strengthening exercises. And if you experience persistent pain, don't hesitate to seek professional medical advice. Now lace up those shoes and get ready to conquer those miles pain-free. We'd love to hear your thoughts and experiences with shin splints. Share your comments below and let's support each other on our journey to healthy and happy running.